Hi everybody, today I will share with you an interview when the USCIS officer is a difficult person. During the review of the N-400 application, the officer asked me a lot of questions about my personal information or my background, and also asked me to define some vocabulary when asking the yes-no questions. I think this interview is a good resource to help you prepare for your citizenship interview. Depending on the officer, they may ask you many or few questions, but the interview format is the same. Please make sure you understand the questions in the interview and prepare your own answer. B21, Mrs. Sandra Reyes. Good morning, officer. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for waiting. My name is Joseph David and I will conduct your interview. Please follow me. Can I have your appointment notice, please? Yes, officer. Thank you. Please remain standing. I need you to swear under oath before the interview. Can you raise your right hand for me? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Please have a seat and show me your green card, your ID, and your passport. Here you go. How far do you live from here? I live in Atlanta. It takes about 35 minutes to get here if driving. You came here with your spouse? Yes, my husband dropped me off, and he's waiting at the parking lot now. What is the reason you want to be a U.S. citizen? I want a career with the government, and also I want to sponsor my sister for a green card. All right, now I'm going to collect your fingerprints and take your photo. Can you please place your left index finger on the scanner in front of you? Perfect. Then switch to your right index finger, please. Can you do it again? Sure. Perfect. Thank you. Now please look at the camera for me. I will take your photo. Awesome. As part of the interview, I will conduct your reading and writing tests now. Please open the screen on the iPad and read the sentence slowly and clearly for me. Who was the first president? Do you know how to use a stylus to write a sentence on the iPad? Yes, I know. Great. So please write the sentence I will read to you now. Washington was the first President. Good job. You read a sentence and wrote a sentence correctly, so you passed the English reading and writing test. I will move on to the civics test. Did you take any citizenship classes before? No, I didn't take any citizenship classes. I just learned on social media. Do you have any questions at this point before we start? No, officer. All right. This is the first question. Please answer out loud for me. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. 
Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Good. You passed the civics test. As the last part, I will ask you about your Form N-400 to ensure everything you filled out is correct. Do you have any changes about your marriage status? No, officer. I just changed my job two months ago. I wanted to let you know if you can update my application today. Okay. I can update it for you. If you have mistakes or other changes on your application, let me know when we come to that section. Thank you. What is your legal name? My legal name is Sandra Reyes. Is this also the name that is on your green card? Yes, it is. Have you used any other names before you came to the U.S.? Yes, I changed my name after I got married. What was your unmarried name? Sandra Vergara. Do you have the name change paperwork with you today? Yes, here it is. What other names have you used before? No, I haven't used any other names. Okay. Would you like to change your name again? Yes, I would like to change my name again. I want to add my original last name to my current name. The new name will be Sandra Vergara Reyes. Will Vergara be added to your last name? No, it will be middle name. Just in case, please write down the new name with last name, first name, and the middle name for me. Sure. Your social security number is 682-567563. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. You became a permanent resident through your marriage? Yes. When did you enter the U.S.? I entered the U.S. on May 28, 2019. When did you get your conditional green card? I got my first green card on May 28, 2019. Have you ever been to the U.S. before getting the green card? No. What is your date of birth? October 14, 1995. What is your daily phone number? 4042637865. What is your country of birth? My country of birth is Colombia. In which country do you hold citizenship? Colombia. All right. What is your current address? 1312 Camelot Drive, Atlanta, Georgia, 30349. Did you move here after you filed your citizenship application? No, I moved here two years ago before I filed my citizenship application. Where did you live before moving to this address? 624 Hill House Lodge Lane, Canton, Georgia, 13011. How long have you lived at this address? I lived at this address about two years. Did you live together with your spouse at this address? Yes, we did live together. Do you live with him at the current address? Yes, we live together. Have you lived anywhere else in the last three years? No, that's all where I lived since I entered the U.S. You said you changed your job two months ago. Where do you currently work? Currently, I work at Cell Atlanta Real Estate. When did you start working here? I started working here on April 12, 2023. What kind of work do you do? I'm a real estate broker. 
Where did you work before switching jobs? I worked at Atlanta Communities Real Estate Brokerage. How long have you worked there? I worked there for three years. Okay. How many times have you been married? I've been married one time. What is your husband's full name? His full name is Norman Reyes. Is your husband's birth date November 9th, 1990? No, my husband's birthday is December 9, 1990. Was your spouse naturalized in the U.S.? No, my husband is a U.S. citizen at birth. Do you live together with your husband? Yes, we live together. How did you first meet your spouse? I met my husband through a friend. My friend introduced him when he traveled to Colombia. When did you meet him the first time? I met him the first time on March 2, 2016. When did you get married? I got married on January 6, 2017. Can you show me any photos of your wedding ceremony? Yes, it's on the phone now. Is it okay? Sure, thank you. How many days did you spend on your honeymoon? We spent on our honeymoon 14 days. Okay. Do you live in a townhouse? Yes, I do. I live in a townhouse. Do you jointly own any property? Yes, I own jointly two cars. All right. Do you have any documents where both of you are listed together, such as utility bills, car insurance policy, or any joint bank accounts? Yes, I have a joint car insurance policy and a joint bank account. Can I see the copies of these? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Do you file income taxes jointly or separately? We file income taxes jointly. Can I also see the tax return paperwork in the past three years? Yes. Thank you. How many times has your spouse been married? My husband has been married one time. What does your spouse do for a living? He is an elementary school teacher. Great. Do you have any children with your spouse? Yes, we have one daughter. What is your daughter's full name? Jennifer Reyes. How old is she? She's three years old. Was your daughter born in the U.S.? Yes, she was. Did she come to the interview together? Yes, she came with me. My husband is taking care of her right now. All right. Have you ever been outside the U.S. in the last three years? Yes, I've been outside the U.S. one time in the last three years. Where did you go? I went to Italy on vacation. Did you go with your spouse and your child? Yes, we went together. Did you leave the U.S. on April 17, 2021 and return on April 30, 2021? Yes, that's correct. Did you take any other trips outside the U.S. in the last three years? No, only one trip. Okay. Have you ever said that you are a U.S. citizen? No, never. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't own taxes. Did you ever sign up to vote or have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the U.S.? No. Why not? I would not vote or register to vote in the U.S. when I'm not a U.S. citizen. Good. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you got your green card? No. 
What does file a federal tax return mean? It means to send tax paperwork to the government. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Can you define weapon? Yes, it's like a knife or gun. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I understand. Okay, what is an oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official, for any reason? No, I didn't. Did you ever receive a ticket from the police, or did the police ever take you to jail? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combative services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I am. What is non-combative services? Services that do not involve combat. Good. Please look at the tablet and review your form. If your information is correct, please sign at the last page. One more. This page is the Oath of Allegiance. Please make sure you fully understand the full Oath of Allegiance and sign at the bottom. Awesome. Great job. Congratulations. You passed the interview. Thank you very much. I can't believe I did it. You did a great job. One more step before you become a U.S. citizen. You need to take the Oath of Allegiance at the Oath Ceremony. We will send you a schedule for your Oath Ceremony later today. Please make sure you don't miss your scheduled Oath Ceremony, okay? Yes, I understand. Thank you so much. Do you have any question? No, I'm good. Great. Please stand up and follow me. I will walk you out. Thank you.